now we can see that we get up this live video feed here from the webcam we see we get around 10 11 frames per second when we're actually like running this algorithm and also displaying all these points here that we're matching hey guys and welcome to the video in this computer vision tutorial in this video here we're going to talk about sift feature extraction so we're going to open up open to with python and then we're going to import the sift algorithm so how we can actually like find different kind of features in our images it can be used for a lot of different kind of things if we're talking about like stereo vision for example where we want to find like features or like correspondences in both the images so let's say that we have one image and another image and we want to find the exact same point in both of the images then we can use sift feature extraction to actually like get the exact uh, exact points in both of the images but first of all remember join discord server i'll link to it down in the description here you can join the channel chat with us, chat with us about computer vision deep learning ai and so on you can also become a member of the channel if you want to support the channel with a small amount of fee everything will go to create more and better quality content here on the channel also if you're a member of the channel i can help you out with some of your own problems in your own projects and applications where i can guide you in the right directions and so on if you're a member of the channel so thank you guys first of all i just want to give you a massive shout out to these guys that are that are a member of the channel i'm helping some of these guys out here uh, with some of their projects i'm guiding them, them in the right directions and so on and also a special shout out to audio basket here for the manual, massive channel support i really appreciate it guys so we're gonna jump straight into the code here i'm going to show you how we can set up the sift feature extractor here how we can match the different kind of features in the images and then how we can display it in the image first of all i'm going to show you a script here where we're just do where we're just importing or like reading in two images so we're going to read in the same image and then we're just going to find correspondences in those two images with the sift feature extractor and then i'm going to show you a script where we're actually going to open up the webcam and then we're going to load in the images from the webcam and then find features on live webcam feed um, of the environment or like me here in front of the webcam but first of all again here we're just going to take two images where you're going to read in the exact same image so first of all we need to import opencv we don't need to import matplotlib we're not going to use that so we're just going to import opencv here then we're going to create the sift um the sift feature extractor we just directly use opencv so we just have the sift variable or object that we're going to create and then we have our modules uh opencv module here and then we can just call dot sift underscore create so we just create this sift uh feature match algorithm or like this uh class here that we just initialized and then down here we also need to set up a feature matcher so we need to define how we actually like want to match the features that we're detecting in the image with our sift feature extractor so we're both extracting the features and then we're also matching the features from one image to the other image so here down here we're just creating our um bf matcher here so it's just a block matcher of the different kind of like feature matches that we have then we use this normalization loss here so we just use norm l2 we can also use norm l1 here it doesn't really matter but you should use l1 or l2 if we're talking about sift feature extraction we can also do cross check we can set that equal to true just if we want to do cross check of the different kind of points that we're actually like matching or the features that we're matching in our images then we're going to read in the two images that we're going to do feature extraction on so we're just going to inbreed this house JP, J, the jpeg here um, as we're going to see when i run the program first of all we need to convert our image from pgr image to a grayscale image so we're only operating with one channel it will speed up the process and we're still able to detect all the features in our images then we'll get out the key points and also the different kind of descriptors that we can then match with our uh with our bf match or like our block matching uh, algorithm that we set up here at the top so here we're just going to call sift here so this is our sift algorithm or like a sift object that we created uh, with this sift underscore create then we can just call dot detect and compute so we're actually like just detecting all the different kind of features in our image and then we're also computing uh, both the key points and also the descriptors here then we just pass in the image that we want to detect and compute the features in we're going to do that for both the images so both m1 and m2 and then we're going to store all the information in the key points one here and the descriptors one and the same down here for our second image so now we'll both get the key points in our images and we will also get the descriptors that we're going to match so then we can actually go down here and create the matches with our bf block matching algorithm that we set up here at the top so this will just be using this block uh block blocker feature matching here where we're just matching with this normal two loss and then we're doing cross check on our feature matching points 
So we're gonna just go in here, pass in the two descriptors that we actually like want to match. We just call bf.match, pass in the two descriptors, and then we'll just get out this variable, which will contain all the matches that we have in our image. So a match is actually like just one point that we're matching to another point in the other image that will that will actually like be a match, and we want to display that um, in our image. It can be used for a lot of different kind of things in stereo vision if we want to find the exact same points that we want to match. For example, if we want to find the depth to an object in the image, then we can actually like just use uh, shift feature match feature extraction here, or for some other different kind of approaches or methods or projects where you just want to find the exact same points in one image and another image. Also, if you want to rotate your points or like find the translation and rotation from one image uh, to the other and so on. So it can be used for a lot of different kind of algorithms. And it's one of the hardest problems in computer vision is actually like to define how we're matching points in one image uh, to another image and finding the exact same points, even if the images actually like look identical or like some of the different kind of corners in the images actually like look identical. Let's say we have a background um, with one color or we just like have a wall with a lot of windows or flow, something like that, then a lot of the different kind of points in the image are actually like similar. So that makes it really hard to match points from one image to the other image. But now we have all our key points, we have our descriptors, and then we're matching our descriptors. All the uh, information here will be stored in the matches. Then we can just go down, use Ohm's V to actually like draw our matches. We just pass in the image, the key points for the first image, second image, and, the, and the, also the key points for a second image. So this will just be the key points that we actually like detecting. And then we just display our matches here. So the matches will actually like be the lines from one point to the other point. So the key points, we have the points, which is the key points. And then we have our matches, which actually like the lines or like just the matches of those points together. We're just going to display the middle of the detected points here because we're going to detect a lot of points in the images um, and we can display them all, or at least we can see how we actually like matching one point from the first image to the second image. Then we're just going to show our shift results and we're just having this wait key here. So it will just show the image until we hit a key on a keyboard and it will terminate the program. So let's now run it here before we're going out to open up the webcam feed. So now we get up the result here. We can see that we're detecting all the different kind of features or like points here in the left image. We're doing the exact same thing in the right image and then we're trying to match those points together. So we're trying to find the exact same points in, in both images. Again, as you can see, you can use this for stereo vision to get the exact depth of these points uh, as an example. But we see here, if we just take a couple of points, like this point here, out in the sky, it is actually like mapping this point here exactly to the same position here in the right image. Even though the background here, there's not a lot of change here in the color. So this point could have been up here, 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 but it actually like matches this uh, at the exact same location here because this is actually like a really good uh, and really reliable and robust um, algorithm, this shift feature extractor. We can also take another image here or like another point. We can see the green one here is the exact, exact same point. We can go down here at the windows. We can see some blue points here, actually like maps to the same blue points over here. We can see blue point here, a blue point here and here. So we see all these points here is actually like matching perfectly. And we can also verify because we're using the same image. So all these lines here are acting like horizontal because there's no change in the point here in, um, in the Y direction or like in the right direction here in the image, because we're just take, we're just taking two identical images. So if we find the exact same points here in the right image as in the left image, then there will be no change here in the Y direction, which is why all these lines here are horizontal. So this is really nice. We can, we can actually like just try here. We can just set it to zero or we can just take 600 points in our image. And then we can see that we get all these points down here in the tree. And we can see we find a lot of features in the tree here. Now we can't really match points here visually, but we can still see that all the lines here are horizontal. There's no changes from one image to the other. So we're finding the exact same points, but the more points we show here, the, the harder it gets to actually like visualize or like see visually how good are uh, our features actually like matching. We can see here in the roof. So this point here is actually like exactly at the same point as this one and also all the other points. So we're just finding all the features that we have in our image and then we're matching them from one, one image to the other image. So this is the first script. We're just matching the same image here from one image to the other. Now I'm going to show you a script here 
where we're just going to open up we're going to do the exact same thing we're just going to open up the webcam feed and then we're going to do sift feature extracting on live webcam feed instead of just two images again we're just going to use two images here so first of all we create our sift uh, feature extractor we have our feature matching algorithm or like optics here that we're initializing so how we're matching the points in the images then we're going to open up our webcam we're just going to have this while loop running as long as our webcam is open then we can go down here read in the first image then we're just going to set the second image equal to the first image so again we're just mapping points from one image to the other image and then we're finding the exact same points so the, again this can be used for stereo vision all these things here are exactly the same right now we just have a timer so we can actually like time how fast this algorithm here runs and how many frames per seconds do we actually like get when we're using this sift feature extractor on two images coming in live from the webcam we're just drawing out the matches we're just putting out or like printing out the number of frames per second that we get if we had q or escape on a keyboard at any time we'll just relieve the webcam or like terminate the program and then we're going to release the webcam so exactly the same code again all the code here that you've seen will be on my github i'll link to it down in the description here you can just go into computer vision um, repository find all the code here run it yourself try to play around with it create your own images actually like try to rotate the images around try to see if you can find matches when the objects is actually like rotated around from one image to the other and so on you can also open up your webcam and just try the script out so now we're just, just going to run the program here it will open up the webcam now we can see that we get up this live video feed here from the webcam we can see we get around 10 11 frames per second when we're actually like running this algorithm and also displaying all these points here that we're matching right now if i'm just closing the program or like at least just scrolling down to the bottom we're only showing the first 100 matches um, in our images so we can actually like see what is going on but here we see it is jumping around a lot this is actually just because we're changing color or like the color is just chosen randomly from one frame to another frame so again we're just reading in a frame doing all the process or like we're just running the algorithm on it then we get in a new frame uh, repeat the same process over and over again so that's why the points here or like the colors here are actually like flickering but we see if i'm holding my head still here all the lines here is actually like the same it's just changing colors because it is finding the images or like it's finding the exact same features every time it loads in a new image from the webcam which is actually like um one uh, like 10 images per second if i'm moving around here in the image frame we can see it still finds the different kind of features we can try to display a couple more features here let's go for like for example 300 and see if we can get some more points so again here we can see we get a lot more points uh with my nose we can see it is actually like detecting all the points in my nose ears also around the, the hair and stuff like that it's not really detecting a lot of corners out here in the background because it can't just it, like it can't find any features we need some kind of like texture edges and so on that it can actually like match from one image to the other we can see we get some uh, over here to the right we get some point over here to the right we get some here at the shirt my hair um, eyes is really good mouth is really good nose and ears are also really good so we can see that we're finding the exact same point from one image to the other image we're actually going to create a lot of projects where we're going to use this sift feature extractor to find points in one image to the other image so we can actually like do optic detection finding depth to different kind of optics in the image frame even like doing post estimation because we can use like 3d information about all the points when we're using stereo vision to do post estimation creating point clouds and just like using sparse stereo vision so we just get some points try to find the 3d position of that object or like uh, those points in the actual like, scene so remember to hit the subscribe button under the video here and also hit the bell notification so you'll get a notification when i upload videos um, about that or in the computer vision tutorial deep learning tutorial point cloud tutorial and so on so thank you guys for watching this video here and also remember to hit the like button under the video here it just really helps me and the youtube channel out in a massive way and i just really appreciate the support I'm currently also doing this computer vision tutorial that I've talked about where we're doing basic image operations, stereo vision, camera calibration, and so on. And now we're actually like just combining some like all these things here into like bigger projects. We're trying to optimize some of the things and actually like create some real life or like some real applications that we can actually use for something. So if you're interested in that tutorial, I'll link to it up here or else I'll see you next video guys. Bye for now.